In this video, we will see how to take a mock test. First, log in to see your dashboard. Here, you will find the text section on the left side of your screen. Now, click on the test button. Then, you can see take mock test. You will find list of mock exams after clicking on that button. Now, in order to start any of the exam assigned to you, you can click on take it. Now, after clicking on take it, it is going to ask you whether you have watched this instructional video on how to take a mock test. Click on yes, I have seen. Now, No will play this video. Clicking yes will take you to the next step. Now it is here to check system requirements. Now it is important all of these boxes should be green to successfully proceed. You can see all of the buttons are green here. Now any of the boxes which are red then you need to take required steps mentioned in the box to make it green. Till the time all the boxes are not tick marked, then you cannot start your exam. You can see the red mark over here. Now you have to click on the speed. It is just a speed test. So you have to click on the download speed. Now you can see that your connection speed is fine. After that, you have to click on the upload speed. When it will come, your connection speed is fine here after upload speed. Then see now it turned from the red to the green and now we have to click on the start exam. And now this window will pop up. Remember to maximize this new Chrome window by clicking on this button. Now this is the test instructions that are written here as you will get the same type of instructions in the Pearson test. After reading these instructions, click on the next button that is at the right side. Now after clicking on the this button now this screen will appear this is showing the structure of the test how it is divided into different parts according to Pearson the first thing is the introduction part and then it is combined speaking and writing then part 2 will be the reading and part 3 will be the listening after reading all this information, you can click on the next button that is at the again right side. Now, this is the head checkup step. This is really important. You need to click on the play button to listen to an audio. If the volume is too low or high, you can adjust it by sliding it by sliding this button, right? And now check it by after playing now if you are convinced or happy with this then click on the next button now this is the step to check your microphone click on the record button and say one or two sentences here then let me say hi my name is Reed and I am going to record one line to check microphone now you have to click on the stop to stop the recording and then you have to listen to the recording by clicking on the listen button. Once you are happy with your recording then click on the next button. Now this is the introduction step in Pearson exam. 
you will get the same introduction step so you should prepare your introduction and must click on start to record let me show you start hi my name is reed and i have done my masters in bioinformatics and i am working as a pt trainer now stop recording after clicking on the stop it will upload now we have to click on the next button once the introduction is saved now you can read out here are you ready to rock so it means now you can attempt your mock test now after clicking on the start button here that is at the right side of your screen then you can start your mock test now let me start after clicking on to the start exam you will see that your first read aloud question will start now let us see here the couple of options here this is the first read aloud question and we can see the three options here report question and an evaluate test and pause test now let us see what is the meaning of these buttons first is report question report question is if you found any accuracy problem in any question all you have to do is just click on this button write a sentence detailing the problem and then you have to just click on the submit and click okay now the second thing you can do is end and evaluate test if due to any reason you want to conclude the test any time then you can click on this button and your test will be finished and evaluated till where you have answered the questions now the third option it is very useful one if you cannot continue your test but want to finish it later then you can pause your test by clicking on this button it will ask for confirmation then if you will press on the pause after clicking on the pause test it will take you back to the initial screen from where you check the upload and download speed to start the test now i will reload it now you can see the connection speed is fine now i have to click on the upload speed also now you can see the red turns to the green one and you can see now it is resume exam after clicking on to the resume exam now you can see that the test has been started and can be resumed now the recording will start in the speaking questions if you do not speak before 3 seconds a prompt will say that you cannot answer this question you have to move to the next question or an error can appear that no speech detected error so in the speaking the main important thing that you have to consider always to speak just within 3 seconds when the recording is started now let's see it is showing beginning in 8 seconds and i will be quiet and i will show you the error see now you can see the error oops you didn't speak within 3 seconds after pressing the okay button now we cannot reattempt this question but we have to press the next button and we will go to the next question one more thing here important is that you can always submit any question before the recording gets complete all you have to do is the click and yes so i will also show in this one read aloud so you can see here beginning in 18 seconds and when the recording will start i will just read out the few words and after that i will just press the next and yes 
So let's start. It marked the beginning of a sustained movement towards modern economic growth in much the same way. Now I will press the next button and it will appear a dialog box. Are you sure you want to move to the next question? Yes. Now I'm going to end the test. It is going to ask for confirmation also and an evaluate test. Now this is the confirmation box. Save and exit. Now clicking on this end exam will take you to the last step of the exam. Now here we can write anything about your experience with the exam and just after writing the experience you can click on the submit. Clicking submit will close this window and take you to the dashboard. Now for this mooc test result you have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes for ai to evaluate your responses to check the result you have to go to the test history test and then you have to click on the history now you can see here this exam that we have given just now that is not evaluated right now let me show you to the another answers let me click on the percent scores here you can see the score here clicking on scores here will present you your scorecard and let's go back here if you are pressing to the answer key answer key will present you the answers key of the mock test right so you can select any of the module from here you can see from here these are read alouts answer short questions repeat sentences so by clicking on this any of the question you can see the answers you can see the marks over here reading items that one is correct out of five clicking on the score will take you to the scorecard even see, you can see the answers here these are the your answers these are the correct answers right red in shows the incorrect ones so you can see all of the questions here i hope everything is clear to you thank you